With all the Visual Studio Code extensions out there, it's no surprise that this extension has gone unnoticed, at least by me. Maybe you've seen it, but it has been a lifesaver for me, especially teaching vanilla JavaScript to students. So let me go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. So here's the problem that this fixes for me. I'm teaching students how to utilize uh, temporal strings as well as add some HTML in there. And it, it does get tedious trying to type this and not get any shortcuts while we're typing. It becomes a hassle to do this. And there's an extension out there called inline HTML. And the way that it works is all I have to do, if I want to make this temporal string here look like HTML, act like I'm on HTML, I can just butt up against the back tick, and it has to be back ticks only, right? And type in HTML. Now I have full editability on this. It's almost like I'm editing an HTML page. I can do a div, hit the tab, and it just works. Now, if you would like to keep this here and still have your code run, that, that's a different story. You're just gonna have to select it and then go ahead and add the exterior comments to it and code will still run. You're still able to utilize this as advertised as if it was HTML and you do get prettier to help you out with, with it as well to make sure that it does look nice in your code. So again, you just type in HTML and you wanna make sure that you do have the back ticks in there. And again, saving it, prettier takes care of it looking nice. And as far as the extension goes, it works with anything that is a JavaScript, TypeScript, and it works with the HTML, it works with CSS, as well as all you have to do is put a style in there for the CSS or the CSS tag right there. So again, pretty neat inline, not a lot of downloads, has 13 stars, and it is a time saver for me. I've been using it for about a week and I really like it. Let me know in the comments, have you been using this? Do you like it? What do you not like about it? Let me know.